In 2008, South Africa experienced horrific xenophobic attacks. Mm. Do you think now, in 2014, the attitude towards foreigners has changed, or does this discrimination persist? I would say that the xenophobic violence in 2008 was a huge wake-up call for South Africans, um, seeing that on such a large scale. Unfortunately, the, the violence is still a daily instance. I mean, it's, it happens every single day in the townships here in Cape Town, in Pretoria, uh, all across South Africa. I don't think that the tolerance has really increased, um, but I think that something on such a large scale, um, we haven't seen that again. Uh, there were some insta instances last year in 2013, Cryfontaine and others, where this really did explode a bit here in Cape Town. We were watching it very carefully, um, and thanks to quite a lot of interventions from other organizations, the police and others, we were able to contain some of these situations. But xenophobic violence is still a, a daily reality. And how can we, as ordinary South Africans, uh, educate ourselves, educate others, um, and help organizations like yours in trying to eliminate xenophobic attacks and discrimination? Sure, yeah. Educate self and educate communities. Um, talk about this issue. Stand up whenever you see discrimination of any form, whether it's based on nationality or others. Stop using the words alien um, and foreigner in a derogatory manner. Um, there are lots of organizations across Cape Town in, and across South Africa that provide assistance. We all do need help to be able to provide that kind of assistance on, a, on an ongoing basis. So find us, um, reach out, see how you can help, um, and, and try not to be um, one of the people that perpetuates that kind of attitude.